This video, which is for parents and educators, is a set of tips on how to navigate and share the course. It's very easy to do, but it does help if I point out some key features that will save you some time. We'll take a closer look at the course in just a moment, but first I'd like to provide a quick introduction. My name is Steve Wyborny. I am the creator of Splat and Fraction Splat. I have a blog which I use to share free resources. I created the estimation clipboard. I've presented at conferences from Seattle to Orlando and from Washington DC to San Diego. And I'm also the creator of Estimistries. To date, I've given away more than 1 million free copies of resources to educators around the world by posting them on my blog. The multiplication course is another free resource. However, the student videos are not posted on my blog. Instead, I posted them on YouTube. And the fact that they are on YouTube leads us right into some questions and answers. Today, I'd like to answer two common questions, which I'll label questions one and two. Those questions are, how do I access the course and how do I send it to my students? In the description below, you'll find a link. And if you click on that link, you'll find yourself on my YouTube page. When you first arrive on my YouTube page, you may not be exactly sure where to go. So let me show you the easiest way to navigate through the page to the multiplication course. First on the top, you'll see tabs for home, videos, and playlists. The playlist tab is the one that you want because every chapter in the multiplication course has been sorted into a series playlist. So if you click on playlists, now you will see all of the playlists appearing. However, they may not be in order. You can see chapter one, then chapter three and chapter 12. So another step, which is really helpful is to sort the playlists. And if you sort them according to date created oldest, that will put all of the chapter playlists in order. So I'll click that and now you'll see the chapter playlist listed in order. The first one I created was chapter one, then chapter two, then chapter three. And that is how to see all of the chapter playlists. Once you see all of the chapter playlists, if you want to see inside of a chapter playlist, simply click on view full playlist. And when you click on view full playlist, you'll see all of the lessons from that chapter listed in order. One great advantage of using a series playlist is that it's very easy to share all of the videos at once with your students. You can share the entire playlist simply by clicking on the arrow labeled share. And when you do, you'll see several options. But if you click on copy, now you've copied the link to the entire playlist. And then when students receive the link and click on the link, they'll have access to every lesson in the chapter. And of course, you can use the same process with any of the chapters. So as another example, I'll click on playlists and I will sort by date created oldest. And let's take a look at the full playlist for chapter three. I'll click on view full playlist and all of the lessons in chapter three appear. I could share any one of those lessons, but if I wanted to share the entire playlist, I would simply click on the arrow labeled share, click on copy, and now I could send that link to anybody that I wanted to see those lessons. Another really nice feature of clicking on view full playlist is that at a glance, you can have a pretty good idea of what is coming in the chapter. However, I think the best way to get a clear sense of what's coming in the chapter is to click the chapter preview for that chapter. So to go back and summarize briefly, after you click the link below and land on this page, the next step is to be sure to click on playlists. From playlist, it helps to sort by date created oldest. And from that point, you can see all of the chapters. You can click on view full playlist. And if there's a playlist that you would like to share, simply click on the arrow mark share and copy the link to that entire playlist. I hope that helps answer questions one and two, which are how do I access the course and how do I send it to my students? I'm creating a new chapter playlist in here that is just for educators and parents. And I'm going to use this extra chapter playlist to answer any questions that you have. So if you have any other questions, please send those to me and I will create a video to answer those questions and I will put the video into the chapter playlist. Of course, if you click on subscribe and the notification bell, you'll be notified when those new videos appear. I'm finding that one of the best ways to answer questions about the multiplication course is when you send them to me as a comment on my blog. So I'll also place the link to my blog in the description below and let me know if you have any questions or comments. Thank you for your time. I hope you have a wonderful day.